Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be discussing with you and giving you some of my initial thoughts and analysis on newly shown Transformers products which have literally just been unveiled over at the Fan First Friday live stream. In this particular reveal we got reveals ranging from the Studio Series to some Earthrise reveals and of course to some Amazon exclusive reveals. So without further ado let's kick it off with some of the newly shown 86 movie Studio Series figures. And so to kick off the reveals we are of course going to have to talk about the Transformers Studio Series 86 leader class Grimlock. Me, Grimlock, love this figure. This figure here looks absolutely terrific. I was a huge fan of the original Voyager class Power of the Primes version of Grimlock and really didn't think that we were going to get anything better than that. However, my initial praises on that original Voyager have been completely thrown into the trash whilst looking at this particular release. He looks amazing. The actual T-Rex mode itself, in my opinion, looks incredibly faithful to how we see him appear in that 86 movie. I believe that the paint applications for the most part have come out really nicely. You can see that we've got a fantastic looking Grimlock head sculpt there with the blue eyes. I love the yellow paint applications for the actual neck and we can also see some there for the toes and for where Grimlock's chest section is. I also love the articulated tiny little T-Rex arms. They too have been done in an awesome looking silver but it doesn't even end there. We also do get an action figure of Wheelie. Now it wasn't discussed on whether or not this figure will indeed be transformable. Judging by some of these images it does appear as if though it's just going to be an action figure with a few points of articulation. However personally I don't really have an issue with that whatsoever. He will also include include one accessory, that being his slingshot, which in my opinion is just such a fantastic attention to detail. So overall, in terms of Grimlock's T-Rex mode, as well as the wheelie action figure, I truly do believe that we are looking at potentially one of the best mass-produced Grimlocks of all time. Taking a look here at one of the CG renders of Grimlock in his robot mode, very similar to that of his T-Rex mode, I think that he looks really incredible, very masterpiece-esque in terms of his design, and I have actually stated in some of my most recent reviews that I now believe that the masterpiece figures are now competing with the mainline figures that's honestly the mainline figures nowadays are really knocking it out of the park and Grimlock for sure is no exception you can see that in terms of robot mode I believe the proportions are incredibly faithful to his G1 appearance as so is the color palette I absolutely love the blue red and green highlights that we do have there on the shins you can also see there that he will indeed include his blaster I love what appears to be a transparent piece for the actual chest section it's not entirely clear how but where the Autobot insignia is placed that does appear to be transparent which if it is I'll be a huge fan of that you can also see that the head sculpt there looks incredibly crisp and precise and he will also have those parts of the T-Rex mode hanging just behind where his arms are which once again is incredibly G1 accurate. We can also see here that it does appear as if though he's going to have a waist joint as well as some ankle rocker pivots which in my opinion is a first for a mainline Grimlock. I don't believe that we have gotten ankle rockers on a mainline Grimlock figure ever or at least in a very long time so it's fantastic to see it here with this particular 86 rendition. So Grimlock here for sure gets a 10 out of 10 from me in terms of how he looks from some of these official CG renders and I really cannot wait to get the figure in hand and of course review him all for you. Taking a look here at yet again another 86 Studio Series reveal we have Blur and personally for the most part I believe that this figure here has turned out really nicely especially where the head sculpt and the accessories are concerned. My only major criticism with this particular release is that the parts on his arms definitely look to be a lot larger than how they appeared in the actual animation. I do know that he had a design which was very similar to this however I do wish that they could have found a way to perhaps have just compressed them ever so slightly so so that they could have looked a little bit more coherent when alongside the side of the arm. But nonetheless, for the most part, I think that the figure looks absolutely incredible. And this is potentially the only Transformers character that can give me a run for my money in terms of how fast I can indeed speak. But taking a look here at some of the accessories, he does include his blaster as well as what I believe is his spark wielding device. You can also see there that his paint applications for where the lower section of the legs are concerned look really nice. And I love the detailing that we do indeed get there for the actual torso. So once again, another fantastic looking 86 reveal for this particular figure. And taking a very quick look here at Blur's vehicle mode, very sleek and elegant. It does appear as if though Hasbro and Takara Tomy are trying their utmost best in order to minimise excess robot mode or vehicle mode kibble when in either mode. And for Blur's vehicle mode here, I definitely think that that is evident. You can see that for undercarriage, it does appear as if though for the most part, he is going to be incredibly clean. But actually taking a look at the main vehicle itself, you can see that we've got some fantastic detailing, especially where the actual seat section is concerned. And I'm pretty sure that this figure will also have some dashboard detailing, very similar to that of Deluxe RC. You can see there that he has some fantastic darker blue highlights throughout him as well and I absolutely love how the lighter shade of blue does contrast with that of the darker shade of blue and the white plastic too also looks really awesome. So overall these 86 movie figures in my opinion look to be some of the best that we have ever gotten from Hasbro and of course Takara Tomy. Taking a look here at a packaging shot of some of our first wave of 86 movie figures I think that the box art on these looks
look absolutely incredible. I won't be discussing Hot Rod, Jazz, nor Cup in all that much detail in this particular reveal, as I have already previously discussed Hot Rod and Jazz in a previous video, and Cup has already been seen, as so has Scourge. But in all, I just think that these figures here look absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait to add more of these to the collection. Moving on now to some of the final figures to be revealed for the Transformers Earthrise line. Here we have Voyager Class Thrust. Now, Thrust here is actually one of my favourite Coneheads, so I'm absolutely thrilled that we are finally going to be able to add him to the collection. I do know that there were some rumours surrounding him as to whether or not he would be released as part of Kingdom, but nope, he is going to be, I believe it is a Walmart exclusive and will be packaged under the Earthrise brand, and he looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, he is a heavy remold to that of the original Voyager Class Earthrise Starscream, and obviously subsequently the two Conehead figures that we did get earlier on in the year, but I think that the mould changes that they have made for him look really, really nice. Unfortunately, we don't get any new null rays with this particular figure. I would have loved it if we could have done, but nonetheless, I think that the sculpt work as well as the paint applications on this figure look wicked, and it would be fantastic to finally have a full set of G1 Coneheads to, of course, add to our collection. And now, taking a look here at one of the final reveals that I will indeed be discussing in this video, just as the Amazon exclusive Micro Masters pack doesn't really appeal to me all that much, and the Earthrise runabout, I believe we already previously knew about, but taking a look here at the Studio Series Devastator box set, this is a box set that I believe has even been released in some parts of the world, and in my opinion, I believe that this is a major missed opportunity for both Hasbro and Takaratomi. Essentially, all that they are doing here is repackaging some of the figures that we have gotten throughout the past two years and are very slightly changing the paint decos in order to give them a slightly more desert vibe. I know that Long Haul does have some dust and what appears to be sand alongside his vehicle mode, and I also do know that Scrapper and Mixmaster do have some slight changes in terms of their paint variation, but I think it would have been fantastic if they could have changed some of the moulds ever so slightly or if they could have just included some upgrade pieces, much like we are seeing from the DNA Designs kit. I think that that would have been the perfect marketing strategy here for Hasbro as it would have made collectors who had already previously picked up Devastator double dip and pick up the significantly more expensive box set. As it stands, I really don't believe this box set is going to appeal to many collectors, especially if you already have some of the Constructicons. And for those of you who are missing perhaps one of the Constructicons, I really do believe that this is way overpriced. I believe that this is about £150 or $150 depending where you are in the world over budget of what the original Constructicons would cost if you were to indeed pick them up on their own. So personally for me, this isn't a box set that I'm all that much thrilled about and I would have loved it if we could have gotten some live action movie reveals for this particular live stream. There was no mention whatsoever of any of the rumoured Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee, Sideswipe and of course DOTM Dino in this particular live stream. So I'm really hoping that we do get some news on some live action movie figures in the future. But nonetheless, as it stands, the 86 movie reveals in my opinion I think look absolutely terrific. I love that we are getting some more Earthrise figures to just round off Earthrise as a whole. And the Studio Series Devastator set whilst in my opinion it is a letdown for those of you who haven't picked up any of the Constructicons and seeing as some of them are now quite difficult to find I'm sure that you'll definitely be happy with the announcement of this. So that just about wraps up my thoughts and analysis video on some of the reveals that went down as part of Fan First Friday. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and I would absolutely love to engage with some of you down in the comment section below to hear some of your thoughts and feelings on some of these latest reveals. I thank you all so much for watching this video and until my next video I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.